After a cool and wet winter, British Columbia experienced a slower start to the wildfire season. With fewer fires at home, the province sent nearly 300 personnel to the Yukon in early summer. Supporting partners has always been a priority, particularly as so many agencies have assisted with BC's response to extreme wildfire activity in past seasons. Not long after crews returned home from the Yukon, fire activity began to pick up in northern regions of the province. By mid-July, the risk and fire activity began to increase further south. On July 14th, nearly one year after the devastating Lytton Creek wildfire, the Nahoman Creek wildfire was detected and became the first wildfire of note in 2022. The BC Wildfire Service worked hand in hand with the Lytton First Nation, BC Parks, and the First Nations Emergency Services Society to respond to the wildfire throughout the summer. In total, over the course of the fire season, 17 wildfires were declared wildfires of note. The Karameas Creek wildfire was detected July 29th, southwest of Penticton. The fire was highly visible and caused the evacuation of many area residents. The Southeast Fire Centre also experienced many wildfires that were very visible, and firefighting efforts were often challenging for crews due to steep and difficult to access terrain. When previous fire seasons would have been winding down, BC saw warm and dry weather extend past the seasonal end of summer. The Battleship Mountain, Bear Hole Lake, and Flood Falls Trail wildfires were detected between August 30th and September 9th. Each required active fire management well into the fall season. In total, there were 1,758 wildfires in the province, which burned over 133,000 hectares. 68% of all wildfires in 2022 were lightning caused, and 31% were human caused. Despite experiencing 137 more wildfires in 2022 compared to the year prior, 85% less hectares burned. 80% of wildfires were contained at a size of one hectare or less. Thank you to all BC Wildfire Service personnel who dedicate their time to helping the province. Thank you to all of our partners and other agencies who we are honored to work alongside. Thank you to First Nations who continue to share their knowledge and skills with us. And thank you to all members of the public for reporting fires, complying with prohibitions, and supporting the work of the BC Wildfire Service.